Hey everyone, my name is Josh. This is part three of the Sierra Strip Kayak Build. In the last video, we picked up the strips and started applying them to the forms. In this video, I'll show you the full step-by-step -step process on how we apply each and every strip. To start it off, each of these strips has been modified to fit our needs. One of the edges has been rounded. We call this the um, bead. And the other has been machined to fit the bead. And this side is called the cove. So we use what's called the bead and cove method. This means that when we take two strips, bead and cove fit together to form a nice joint. Now, this also means that we can, um, that we can put them at nearly any angle and it'll stay as a seamless joint. This is very helpful when we are building the boats. Now, in the last bunch of videos, you may have seen these and wondered, what are these? Well, these are the forms that the strips sit on. Each of them sits on a beam, which goes through this hole here. And the edges have been taped with painter's tape to make sure that when we hot glue the form, the strips to the forms, that they don't stay permanently stuck. Because when we take the strips off, we don't want the forms to stay. The individual form pieces were cut out on a CNC machine and they're evenly spaced out by about a foot uh, to form the shape of the boat. The strips attach like this onto the forms so that the forms can provide the shape of the boat. Now, we started on the bottom, so it's actually flipped like this in the videos. So then the strips can be placed along there. Now the, the forms are the largest in the middle section, and they get smaller as you go towards the edges. This would make sense because of the shape of a kayak. Now, we can finally begin to show you the process of how we apply each strip to the boat. Roll film. The process begins by cleaning out the cove of each previous strip using a round file. Once the previous strip has been cleaned out, the next strip can be fitted to the forms.
point in the project, we've gotten to the point where the angle between the form pieces is so big that we need to use a heat gun to twist the strips to the correct angle. Step requires at least two people for it to be fully efficient. We use three later in this video, as you'll see. One person has to hold the strips to the forms, whilst the second person uses the hot glue to make a temporary attachment to the forms. Then, once the hot glue and strip are in place, the first person has to attach the clamp to the strip using a small wooden block that we cut out. This will hold the strip to the form until the hot glue dries. After this is done, the first person also needs to use tape to Make sure that the, the strips are held tightly together while the white glue dries. Sometimes we even get a third person to help with the tape. the hot glue is set on one side, we can start to begin the same process on the other side, using the same clamps from the previous strip. On this side you'll get a better view of what happens because this is the side facing towards the camera. Next I went back around and made sure that the tape was holding the two strips securely together and if not, I applied some extra tape.
once the white glue dried, I could peel the tape off of the strips so that I could begin preparing the next strip. After peeling the tape on one side, I used the time I had to scrape the glue that had dried on the one side off of the strips. At this point, the camera ran out of storage, so I didn't get to record uh, peeling the tape on the camera facing side or cutting the excess glue that spilled over the top of the strips from the forms. But after peeling the tape, then cutting the hot glue from the forms after it has spilled out over the... from underneath the strip would be the next step. After that, you're ready to file and begin working on the next strip. Now that you've seen how each strip is applied, we can go back into the time lapse and work a lot faster.
Now we have so many strips on the kayaks that we can't even attach them to the external strips on the ends. So now we have to plane them down so that they can, each strip on each side can meet in the middle so we can glue the two together. Okay, so we've made a ton of progress already. It's going a lot faster than I expected. I may be a little bit further behind than all the others, but I'll catch up soon enough. Now, we won't be able to roll final shots in this video because by the time that I actually got around to recording this, then I've already fin almost finished recording for part four, and that's a bit of a progress jump. But what I can say is that the boats have made a ton of progress, and I think I'll be able to have the bottom side of the boat finished by the end of part four. So, make sure you watch out for that video soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.